Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys another NHL 17 video and in this episode we are going to see what would happen if Pavel Datsuk came back into the NHL and played for the Red Wings. So let's see if we can hit 400 likes this episode. I know we can do it so go ahead hit that like button show that love and support and subscribe if you guys feel ever so kind. So not horrible of a team. I'm liking how the fourth and third and second line are looking the first line i think if it had a 90 and maybe another 87 88 i think it would be a very good first line but we have a 91 offense and then this is what the defense is looking like not too bad except i'm not a big fan of these two here i don't like that pairing that much but we do have jimmy howard and peter mrazek in net so um i think we'll be okay who's the better guy to have though Howard or or Mrazek he is elite though so I'm gonna switch them I'm gonna switch them and see how it goes and if it doesn't go too well then I'll put Howard back but I feel like Mrazek's overall could go up so that's why I'll do that but let's um go ahead and start simulating and this should be a very interesting simulation. Uh, I do want to say that I will have a new uh, video, a new series coming out today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And it is going to be a horror game that I am going to be starting. And it is The Joy of Creation, which is a Five Nights at Freddy's game. But it's free room, not made by the same person. So... Um, definitely a very interesting game. You guys should definitely take a look at it. Very scary, very realistic, and it's a very cool looking game. So definitely check it out. It'll be out today at 3 p.m. Eastern time because the full game got released. Well, I'm uploading this on Tuesday, but you guys will see it Wednesday, but it came out yesterday for me. It came out Monday, I believe on the 17th. So all right, they're not doing too bad, but they're not doing that great either. They started out the season. Okay, but now they're not doing too hot, but the offense looks pretty good. Maybe the goaltending is the struggle, so maybe we'll have to switch Howard and Mrazek. And um, I'm just hoping... Oh, I had to close that. I'm just hoping we uh, won't go below 500. That would... Oh, now we're 8-10. and 10. Okay, that's not good. We started out the season pretty good, but now we're starting to slump a little bit. And I don't like it too much. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and go back here and see what our problem is. Because I, I actually want this to be a successful sim, this one. I would like to see good things happen here. It takes a while to stop simulating, and I don't know why. I'm not sure what that's all about. All right, let's see what we got. Because I really... All right, the offense is only an 89, so someone had to get hurt. And it was Zetterberg. That is probably why. So let's see the goalies and see who's doing better. Howard is doing okay. Mrazek's the one not doing too good. So I think it switched them up. I think Howard's the starter now. Um, Let me switch them again. And we'll see how that goes. And, um... We'll we'll see what happens. I'm I'm sure with the assisting coach taking effect, it probably won't matter because I'll probably just switch it back again. But hopefully Zetterberg gets back soon. That's probably playing a big role as to why we're not doing so hot. But I'm hoping we can be at 500 before the All Star game. That would be nice. I want to at least make the playoffs because that would be. In my opinion, a successful sim if we were able to do that. But uh, the goaltending's been good. One Only giving up one goal in those three games. Not now, though. But So I don't know if this is Mrazek or uh, Howard that is um, doing well here. But we'll have to look at the stats once we get to the All-Star game for, uh, for both guys. And see what the deal is. But hopefully Datsuk is doing good. Because that's the whole purpose. Is to see uh, how well he will be. But hopefully he's you know up there in points. I mean he is what an 87 overall. Is that what he was or 88 something like that. He's probably going to go down because of age this season. So 
if this was franchise mode, he would probably retire after this season. So it looks like they're very, uh, they can't make up their mind if they want to be above 500 or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you count overtime losses as losses, though, I mean, we are well below 500. But we can still make it. So we do reach it, not counting overtime losses. We do reach the all-star break with, uh, or not really the all-star break, because there is a game on the all-star game, apparently. But we're 21 and 20, so we are above 500, but just barely. All right, the offense is back to 91, which tells me Zetterberg is probably back, and indeed he is. Let's see how good Datsug is. 17 goals, 18 assists. All right, not bad at all. Uh, let's see how, if Zetterberg's better. Yeah, definitely. And let's see how the goalies are. That's what I want to know. All right, Mrazek's doing pretty good. Howard. Yeah, they're both about the same. All right. So I think it has Mrazek playing every day. That's good because I want him to get higher. I wonder what he would be in uh, franchise mode if I like picked him up. I wonder. I'm not going to do it though because he's probably up there, up there in age at this point. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, where are we in the standings? I want to see that real quick, just to see what we're looking at. Oh, we are looking at a possible wild card spot. All right. So we gotta we gotta step it up though. I would at least like to make it into third place, which it could happen. We're not gonna do any trades though or anything like that. We're not. We're gonna do, uh, just want to see what time we were at. We're gonna stay away from that because we don't want to trade anyone. Definitely not. We're winning though. That's good. Twenty four and twenty now. We're on a three game winning streak. Hopefully we can uh, keep that going. The goaltending looks pretty good now. Four and one. Seems a little inconsistent, these scores, you know? Like, they're not really... That's that's a little bit better, 3-2, to two, but 3 nothing, you know, that's a big difference. 3-2, to two, okay. So we're doing better now. A shootout win against the Capitals, okay. Too bad these aren't division teams. 8-4 to four win. Goaltending wasn't that good on either side, but a lot better on our side compared to the Wild. I like what we got going on here. I'll take a shootout loss over a regular loss. We might actually make the playoffs now. I got a feeling Morazic is a uh, a big factor here. That's for sure. But 6 nothing win against the Islanders. That's big. All right, trade deadline. No, we, we don't care. Well, we're already past it now. <laughs> All right. Vancouver. Oh, wait, no. It's on Wednesday the 1st. Okay. It was on the... It was, I was looking at the wrong date. Never mind. All right, 33, 25, and 8. Now 26, but 34 now. <laughs> but we're not doing too bad. I think we'll definitely make the playoffs with this record. I mean, if you throw overtime losses into the mix, it's not good. But aside from that, it's a good record. That's the thing I never really understood with overtime losses. Like, I wonder how, like, I feel like all teams wouldn't look that great if overtime losses counted the same as losses. You know what I mean? But we, all of a sudden, did really well. Like, I'll take a shootout loss there. That's a point. All right, so we finished exactly 500, if you count overtime losses. But 41, 32, and 9 is not a bad record to me. That's pretty decent. So it looks good, at least. But um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see if we did end up making the playoffs. We did. All right, good. So we clinched a playoff position. Wow, that surprises me. Let's see who the leading point guy was. Nyquist with 81 points, so just a point shy of a point per game. And Datsuk was up there with 64. He's still an 88 overall, which is nice, very nice. And let's take a look at the goaltenders and see what we got. So Mrazek, definitely uh, the best goalie on the team. Hopefully he can... Uh, do well in the playoffs for us. And let's take a look and see who the best players were in the league. Let's see what we got going on there. All right, so goalies, Crawford looks like he was the best around there. Or Dubnik, he had it. No, I think Dubnik deserves the uh, the Vezda, in my opinion. Might not have more wins, but he's got a lot better of a goals against and save percentage. 
Wow, damn. Might even want to throw a flurry in the mix, too. And now we'll take a look at the skaters. And the one with the most points is 86. And that's Sagan. All right. Wow, Nyquist was up there. Any Anyone in the 80s? Oh, wow, two. Panarin and Skinner. All right. Is it Panarin or Panarin? Or Panera? I'm just kidding. That wasn't funny. All right. Here we go. Let's get into the playoffs, and hopefully we won't have a first-round elimination. Hopefully we can actually get far in this. All right. Ottawa. Here we go. Win. Loss. 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 Win. Win. Oh, man, I thought we were going to get that. Oh, that sucks. Finish three and four. We were one and three, and we almost came back. Ugh, that's a bummer. All right, well, I have to send to the next month now to see who ends up winning the cup. Do I have anything left in here? No, I do not. That sucks. I got to fill my water cup up after this. All right, let's see who ends up winning it all. The cap, <laughs> the capital somehow made it past the second round. Long overdue for them, but hey, you know what? We had a uh, we had a pretty good season, I think so. Turns out uh, Datsuk might make a, a big factor if he came back. So uh, Detroit might want to look into uh, into uh, you know doing that. And the Flyers are always making the playoffs and like every sim, but they can't do it in real life. It's sad. All right. Uh, didn't want to look at this. Uh, but I want to see how we did. All right. Wow. Well, who made the... I guess there was no... Yeah, it didn't really show us who got wild card. I wonder if we were... We probably were a wild... No, actually, we might not have been. I don't know. But let's take a look at uh, playoff stats and see uh, who did well and who struggled. Uh, Datsuk it only got two points. Damn. But uh, Mike Green got eight in seven games. He was the only guy above a point per game. And as for goalies, uh, that's weird. I don't know why Howard was starting. If he was, he had more minutes. That might have been our downfall. Unless one of them got hurt. I don't know. But Mrazek did very well in the playoffs. But I guess he didn't play that often. But oh well. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all... Oh, wait. Let's take a look at the awards real quick before we call it an episode. Because I am interested in seeing what happened there. Uh, okay. So we didn't get anything there, right? No. Okay. Wait, did we... No. Okay. Sorry. Um, Let's take a look here. I guarantee the call the Calder will be line A. Oh, Marner. Okay. It's usually always li line A. And nothing for our guys. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and leave your challenge ideas down below because who knows your idea could become a challenge here on the channel. That's going to do it. Thank you all for watching and be sure to check out the Joy of Creation horror game on my channel at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And I will see you guys hopefully then. Peace.